What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Matrix 21 back with yet another video, back with yet another episode of Fresh Kicks presented by your boy Matrix 21. But before we get into it, make sure that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell as well so you never miss a video. Also, check out my Twitter page at Matrix 21 and my Instagram shop at TD Made It. Both the links are in the description. But enough of that, let's go. Let's get to the kicks. Let's go. So, today we're going to take a look at the Air Jordan 1 Chicago or Lost and Found. So part number one, breakdown, where we actually break down the sneaker and just go over the, all the details of it. Let's go. So the Lost and Found or the Chicago's are a really, really nice sneaker. You're taking the Chicago one, OG high, you're kind of just giving it new kind of retro hits to it. Well, kind of retro, because you're trying to make it look like an aged version of the Jordan 1's. So you have um, most every, all the colors are the same, except for you have like a sail also, kind of like a sail, the, all the panels that are white are kind of like sail, as well as that back panel, which is kind of like a cracked leather, which looks pretty decent. You don't have like crazy tumbled leather like the shattered backboards on these, but the leather quality does look pretty decent in my opinion. Uh, it's looking at the other part side of the sneaker, and like I said, you have that really good Chicago OG look to it, and it just like it looks aged, like it used to be a back, like if you had an OG pair that you still have now. So it's a pretty dope, dope idea in my opinion, and I'm kind of glad they went that route. Uh, here's a top down look at it. Like I said, that that white is a little bit aged to it, so it's not like pristine white. It looks pretty cool as well, and the tongue really, really reflects that kind of old school look to it, and I, I just like it a lot. Like I said, if you've seen the Jordan One, you know how it how it's supposed to look. So uh, this is no different than that um so it just looks really dope nike air on the insole which is pretty dope as well like i said the real difference is around that that uh the ankle area where you have that cracked black leather which looks very very dope and very cool i didn't like it at first but i kind of grew on me and i kind of like it a lot now let's look at the back of the sneaker like i said you have a better look at that kind of aged look to it and it looks really cool like i said it took me a while to actually like this and i do like it a lot now and uh i don't know it's uh really really grown on me so, like I said, here's the outsole, just plain old red outsole, nothing different about that. Same old, same old, you've seen it once, you've seen it twice, you've seen it a million times, so nothing different there. So now let's take a closer look at it and just see more of the details. Like I said, that leather quality is pretty decent, not super tumbled leather, except for that white. The white or that cream look is a little bit a tumble to that, and it looks really, really clean and really nice. Uh, like I said, the laces, kind of white laces, so pretty cool. Here's a closer look at that kind of cracked leather on the, on the back of the uh, heel. And like I said, it looks pretty cool. I like it. It looks that it has that aged look to it, which they're trying to go for with this whole sneaker, and it works very, very well in my opinion. And here's a look at the sneaker box, and they actually went aged with that as well, and it looks really, really cool, really nice. I like the way that looks. I mean, I like the small details and things, things, so it really adds to it and adds a bigger, you know, look to the actual sneaker. And so let's move on to the release information and price. So these are set to release on November 19th for 180 bucks. Uh, you'll be able to find these on the Sneakers app and other select retailers. Uh, like I said, you'll be able to find them some places, but do not sleep on this sneaker because it will be gone. This is definitely a hot sneaker. And I think to be honest with you, probably the biggest sneaker of the rest of the year. And uh, 180 bucks, not bad. This is a Jordan 1, a Jordan 1 so you, you know, it is what it is with that. But November 19th, set your clocks, set your calendars. Uh, sneakers app is gonna be at 10 o'clock, so be ready to get in that draw. It's gonna be tough. So let's move on to the value or my speculated value. I think you guys already know where I'm going with this. It's where and it's a stash. Where because this is a Jordan 1 Chicago. You got to put that on feet. Stash because it's a Jordan 1 Chicago and the price is not going to stay at 180 bucks for these. Definitely going to shoot up a lot. Uh, this is going to be a tough sneaker to get and I think the price is going to be reflective of that. So last but not least, we get to the recap and the final grade. So once again, these are set to release on November 19th. Be ready for it. November 19th, 220, uh, uh, 2022, $180. Bucks. Uh, you better find these once again on Sneakers app and uh, the select retailers. Available in family sizes, so you better get them for the whole family if you can get them. But they're going to be gone. Trust me. They're going to go quick. <laughs> but a dope, dope sneaker nonetheless. I give these a 10 out of 10. Sneaker of the year in my opinion. I don't give out a 10 out of 10 much often, but I love Chicago ones and this is a really dope iteration of it. So 10 out of 10, sneaker of the year in my opinion. 
I really want these. I'm, I'm going hard for these. I want at least two pair of these, to be honest with you. Uh, but yeah. But that's all I got for you guys today. Make sure that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell as well so you never miss a video. This is your boy Matrix21. Peace. Talk to y'all later. Bye.